Polk County Parks and Recreation has five resource centers that are located throughout Polk County and they're used to serve the residents in those communities. Each center hosts various special events during the year and with Halloween just around the corner, there's a party going on that uh, you don't want to miss at the Medulla facility. All the details are coming up next on Polk Place. Welcome to Pole Place. I'm your host, Brian Lacey, and joining us in studio is Kelly Benedo. She is a recreation coordinator for Polk County Parks and Rec. How you doing, Kelly? I'm doing good. Good yeah. to be back. I understand uh, congratulations are in order. Uh, picked up a new community center. I did. Normally I did. you are where? At the Wabash Community okay. Center. And yeah. now you uh, kind of... Acquired Medella, too, Medella. because we're only... We're only about 10 minutes apart, so it just makes sense to have the one full-time person kind of going back and forth instead of having one person go from one end of the county to the other. So that's that's what we've been doing. We've been working on transitioning, so I'm now at Medela too. Well, having both uh, centers, you, you recognize the importance of having something like that in the community. Talk to me a little bit about what they mean to the neighborhoods that they serve. Really, it's, a, it's just a place for the community to come and, and count on for certain resources. They can come in, they can use our computers. Um, we have four to, four to eight computers at each of my centers. Um, people can come in and apply for jobs, uh, apply for assistance, um, fax papers, and all of this is free to the community center. So it's just really important to have that place where people can come and do these kind of things without having to drive very far away to do it. And of course, you know, faxing, if you're faxing a lot of papers, if you go somewhere else, you're gonna be spending a lot of money. But if you come to us, we can do that for you for free. And also, you know, different programs that we offer in these facilities, that's stuff that they may not get to do um, because of cost-wise. So it's just pretty, it's pretty awesome that people can come in and do those kind of things for free and not have to worry about cost. One of the cool things that uh, no matter what community center you're in is the wide a age range mm -hmm. from kids to to seniors and and everybody's just kind of you know it's just a, a great gathering place. It really is I mean we we obviously have kids um, I know at Wabash we do you know after school program um, Medela we do different programming as well we have got a Girl Scouts group that meets there we've got 4-H that meets there um, and then you have our fellowship dining programs in each of those facilities so you've got seniors and it's really just kind of cool um, sometimes when they overlap you get to see the interaction between the seniors and the kids and that's that's really cool and one of the cool things uh, that is really a privilege in your job is uh, you're in that community and you're watching those kids grow. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I've I've seen kids grow up from kindergarten and now they're in middle school and it's just, I mean, it's kind of sad because I don't have them a lot anymore, but it's really neat to see and I get to be a part of their families and get to know a little bit more about them and it's really, really neat. And it's the seniors as well. I've known some of these seniors for, you know, eight years and it's really neat to learn from them and, and, and see, see how they've, they've lived their life. It's really cool. And the cool thing about having a resource center means you have a great place to hold a party and you've got one coming up. Talk to me about it. I do. At our Medela Resource Center, we're going to be having our Halloween Boogie Nights dance party. A what? Um, yeah. Boogie. As, nice yeah, dance party. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to have a DJ that's going to be spinning some really fun records. Um, we're going to have a costume contest. That's our big draw every year. Um, coloring contest. We're going to have some vendors out passing out candy. Um, and every kid that comes is going to get a bag of candy as well. And it's a safe place for people to come and, and have a Halloween activity um, so that if you know, maybe their parents don't really like them to go out trick or treating. They have a cool place to come to do activities and still get that candy. So it's 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 going to be a lot of fun. Um, prizes will be given out for both the con the costume contest and coloring contest. Um, 
And the dance party, that's just fun. We have an awesome DJ coming that really gets involved with the kids, does the dances with them. Um, we're gonna have a face painter out this year. So there's a lot of different things gonna be going on that, that every kid's gonna enjoy doing. Over the years, one thing that I notice is Polk County Parks and Rec always goes out and whether it's the big party out at, at Lois e. Hart Park mm -hmm. or uh, the parties at, at the community centers, the Halloween activities are probably at their best. Why do you guys go all out on those? Halloween is just a really fun time of year. Um, whether you like scary or not, we tend at the community centers, we tend not to do so much scary. We, we, try, to, we try to keep it light and fun. Um, but it's just one of those times, candy, I mean, hello, every, every kid loves candy and they We're love about tons of candy. Adults love candy. The, the adults <laughs> yeah, tend yeah. to get the leftover candy, <laughs> just make a, a few pieces. But it's just one of those times of years that everybody loves Halloween, everybody. One of the things that, that you guys do that uh, should be commended is, is your use of volunteers, whether it be uh, the senior citizens within the community or allowing the, the, the high school students to come in and get those community service hours. Talk to me about the importance that the volunteers play in, in helping you uh, achieve uh, success in a party like this. Volunteers are so important. Um, we really couldn't do a lot of these activities without them. We have so many different things going on during these events. If we don't have a volunteer to kind of um, be the go-to person at that little particular event, like a coloring contest or color uh, costume contest. It just, it helps staff out because we are sort of limited. Um, it just helps the flow of the event really go a lot smoother. The other thing that you guys utilize well is, is sponsors. Uh, normally, you know, if, if you were traveling from A to B, and just had the money that that was in the within the parks and rec budget it would be an a to b stop you know but sponsors bring so much more to the table are there sponsors at this or are there room for sponsors talk to me a little bit about what they do we are always looking for sponsors we don't have any right now um but i mean can candy adds up buying candy for events it really adds up and when you're on a limited budget um it, it just kind of helps to have a little extra help, whether it's donating candy or whether it's, you know, uh, a cash donation. We just really need sponsors to help us, like you said, get, get it from point A to point B and to have a really awesome party for the community. So we're always looking for sponsors. So if you're interested in sponsoring one of our events, you know, just give us a call, 534-4340. And also volunteers, how they go about doing as such? Um, same thing. They can call the office at 534-4340, or they can give um, one of the community centers a call for this particular event. They're going to call 647-4035. And like you said, high school volunteers, it's a great way to get your community service hours for school. Um, we treat our volunteers very good, so um, if they're interested, just give us a call. One of the things that the Parks and Rec, uh, along with our Polk County Communications Division, is at the forefront of is the whole social media craze. And, and you guys really uh, use it better than, than most of the divisions within the county. And I think it's because you have that genre that, that you're appealing to. Talk to me a little bit about how social media helps you guys reach the kids and, and, and the kids reach you. You know, it really does help us get the word out a whole lot better. Um, we do a lot of flyers and stuff like that to schools and businesses, but really people are on social media every single second of every day. So if we can post and share what our events are um, and give little insights into what we're doing in the community centers, that goes a long way. Moms are always looking for something to do with their kids on the weekends. Um, I know there's a ton of different groups on Facebook, you know, just dedicated to free things that uh, you can do with your family. That plays a big role in our, in what we do in Parks and Recreation because we're always doing something free for the most part. Um, everything at our community centers are free. And Jamie Vance does a really great job getting all that information out onto Facebook for us. 
Well, Kelly, you have the last word and inspire the folks to attend the, the dance, the boogie dance. <laughs> the boogie dance. Come on out. It's a really great event. Um, you're, you're not going to be sorry. You'll be sorry if you miss it, but um, come out, dance a little, uh, bring your costume, get in, in, get in on the coloring contest and just come out and enjoy yourself. As usual, always a pleasure having you in, Kel. Thank you very much. All right. Polk County Parks and Recreation invites you to their Halloween Boogie Night Dance Party Friday, October 7th from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Medulla Resource Center. That's at 1049 Parker Road in Lakeland. Admission is free and you can dance the night away with a DJ, face painting, a trick-or-treat village coloring contest, and a costume contest. Now, if you need more information, give them a call, 863-647-4035, or look them up on the web at www.parksandrec.polk-county.net.